Hey now lambs, how are you guys? Today we're gonna talk about, as a wife, how I got my husband to help me more with everything. You don't wanna miss this girl. Okay, so we know with men, most of the time on their jobs, they can be very efficient, but somehow when they get home, there's like this disconnect. We gonna need you to be efficient on the home front too, young man, home front. Okay, so, you know, there's more to lose on a job if you don't come through with the job or if you don't do this. Well, at home, there may not seem like much to lose, but that's not true. Sometimes that's why wives don't have the best attitudes because you get more attention to them than us. We don't like that. But I'm going to help you wives today. You can't change your husband, but maybe you can change something that you're doing to get him to respond better and more consistently. Okay, so number one, treat whatever job it is you want him to do like a job description. So if it's like, honey, can you please take out the trash at 6 p.m. nightly? You might even need to write it down and post it. That's his one job. Not to treat him like a kid, but just to keep it before him that this is what I need you to do. Um, and then you can agree on what roles and lists the list and, and what you need him to do. You do need to agree on it though. I, I brought up the garbage thing, but ask him, is that something he feels comfortable doing? He may prefer to wash the dishes or throw the clothes in the dryer, you know, and that kind of be his thing. I don't believe in women's work and men's work. I believe whoever does the best at it should do it. And then everybody else should help. Mm -hmm. That's, that's mine. I made that up. Okay. Number two, Make it personal. So you and your husband might need to have a come to Jesus moment. Like, honey, when you throw those clothes in the dryer for me every night, it really saves me a lot of time and I can spend more time with you guys and I don't feel so tired. And, you know, so if you can help me with that, it would it would just really help everything. So you may need to do that. Those are just some words I'm throwing out there. Figure out how you want to say it. Pray about what you're going to say, you know, because you want to be chill when you say it. you want to have an attitude. You know, nobody likes to be approached like that. Number three. Pray for wisdom about your list. Girl, I already know. Women have 200 million, 50,000 bazillion things on a list for one day. I know because I did. <laughs> but so anyways, it was too many things on the list. Too many things. You should only have about two to three things on your daily list. And work is one of them. We be like, I'm going to go grocery shopping, then I'm going to knit the uh, grass. Yeah, the grass. I'm going to knit the grass and milk the cows, and then I'm going to hang up some pictures, and then I'm going to go see my mother, and then I'm going to bake a cake for the uh, community uh, fair, and then I'm going I'm to need you to sit down. You, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. Girl, I would do it. i get it all done. Be tired, exhausted. Just as soon as I sit down, I would just nod, just nod, doing too much. Doing too much and then wasn't asking for help. Go figure. I forgot I had help. Okay. Help was sitting right there on the couch. I ain't even ask him. Anyways, pray for wisdom about your list because your list is just, mm -mm, I already see it. I can see your list and it's out of control. Girl, get that list under control. Men don't like a whole bunch of things thrown at them at once. They're very compartmentalized. Okay. My husband told me one time, he said, baby, you, you telling me too much at once. And I was thinking, what? That was only like 10 things. <laughs> wasn't a lot to me I'm like I could see if it was like 50 <laughs> but it wasn't a lot to me but anyway it was for him but I learned something that day oh, give him one thing at a time and don't give him something new until he's done the first thing you asked him for it's, it's too much um, so I learned that that has really helped my life um, but all these duties all these things you have going on sometimes it just make you cranky you, you're just not nice to be in the house with. So take the to-do list down. You know, you want your home to be a pleasant environment more than anything else. Um, also, Proverbs tells us in uh, chapter 21, verse 19, that it's better to live in the wilderness than to live with a contentious woman. Now, y'all know that's horrible. That's horrible. So don't be her. Don't be that guy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so just make sure you don't make that big old list. Men don't multitask and think of all these things at once. I heard somebody say that men are like waffles. They have compartments and women are like spaghetti. We just put it all together and it works for us. But remember, when I taught y'all how to speak man, this is another how to speak man, compartmental, one at a time. Um, 
if he does not do it the way you think he should do it, leave him alone. You're getting help. He can do it the way he does it. Don't have to be your way all the time, exactly how you would do it. You got to let that go if you want help, okay? Or you won't ever have help and you'll always feel stressed out. Number six, don't ask for what you're not willing to give. Don't ask him to help you with stuff and you don't help him with stuff. He's trying to, baby, I need you to go pay this bill or baby, I need you to run and get this for me. Oh, I forgot. Don't, mm -mm. don't ask him for all his help and you don't give him the help he needs. You're going to reap where you sow. Okay, so let's recap. Number one, agree on the list and what roles everybody is going to do. Make sure everybody is comfortable. At different seasons in your marriage, those roles may change too because just life just changes. It just happens, you know? Number two, agree on what you're going to do and make that compromise. There may be, need to be a compromise there. Make it personal. If you need to have a come to Jesus moment about why you need this done so much, let that be known. You're teaching your spouse about you. Number four, make the task list manageable. Manageable. I said two to three things. I already see you still putting seven on there. Just disobedient. You just disobedient. Anyways, um, number five, let him do it the way he does it. Okay. That's teamwork. Everybody don't have to shoot the ball the same and run down the court. Let him do it the way he does it. Okay. And number six, be sure to sow where you want to reap. If you want help, sow help. All right, lambs. I'm Joy Edwards, and this is Jesus, the Jim, and them. Bye-bye.